5,477 votes, which is 48.88%. The National Democratic Congress was also able to garner 51,637, and it also covers 50.00%. Um, the PNC had 244 votes, which covers 0.24%. And PPP had 299 votes, which is 0.29%. The rejected ballots were 620, which is 0.60%. The total vote cast for uh, the constituencies here in the Dom Kwabenya um, constituency, which has to do with um, 280 polling stations here, we had a total of 103,274 votes cast in total. So here are the projected results for the Dom Kwabenya constituency 2024 parliamentary results. So per the projection that we are seeing on our screens, it means that uh, the NDC is leading uh, with quite a number of votes um, if you compare both with the two leading political parties here, which is the New Patriotic Party and also the National Democratic Congress. Just right on your screen, as you can see, let me run over it again. The NPP was able to gather 5,477 votes and the NDC also stretched them a little bit, coming closer to 51,634. Um, the aspirants under the National Democratic Congress, Faustina Eliklim Akugu, per the results projected here by the EC officials, as leading and maybe be declared as the Member of Parliament for the Dom Kwabinya constituency. Um, just so I refresh your minds on the historical background here regarding the um, parliamentary elections here. In 2012, Sarah Adjosafo succeeded Professor Okwe and revitalized the NPP's performance with 63.8% of the votes compared to the NDC's 35.6%. Her vote share further increased to an impressive 68% in 2016, while the NDC share declined to 31.5%. However, in 2020, her support dipped to 58.35%, reflecting a more competitive race with the NDC's candidate, which is Eli Klima Kugu, making history by securing 40.64%, the highest ever for the party and the constituency, and I'm talking about the 2020 elections. Fast forward to today, she has been able to rise to the top as she has contested against um, Michael Quay Jr. And just like you can see the results, she has made mention in previous interviews that she had higher hopes that she will be the Member of Parliament for the Dom Kwabenya constituency. And just as we are seeing it today, on December 8, um, 2024, it's been close to 48 hours of, our, of us being here at the Coalition Centre in the Dom Kwabenya constituency. Monitoring happenings here has been a lot of chaos, misunderstandings, sadness, happiness, and tiredness as well from all groups of people who have gathered here. Others have spent nights here. They haven't eaten as well, hoping that they will be able to wait till the final results are declared. So the projections are on your screen. and. We are hoping that the city officials will be able to go over the results again and also hopefully uh, the person who fits the position will be declared. And you should also remember that
when Eli Klim Akugu is announced as the member of parliament for the Dom Kwabenya constituency, then it means that it's been a long time, over five terms, before the National Democratic Congress would finally take charge here. Um, we cannot really confirm if indeed they will be able to hold the baton for a very long time, but she has promised her constituents to focus more on developmental projects, on their health sector road network, and also focus on children as well, per her manifesto. We are hoping that when the results are being mentioned, and then Ali Klima Kudu is being declared as the member of parliament for um, the Dom Kabanya constituency, she will be it's about to do it. assured the over 173,619 registered voters here in the Dom Kabanya constituency, hoping that she wouldn't get to disappoint them because you could clearly tell that looking at the number of people who have been standing outside for close to um, hours and days waiting for the results to be announced, then much is expected of Eli Klim Akrugu if she is being pronounced as the Member of Parliament for the Dom Kwabenya constituency. Um, few minutes before the projections were displayed, uh, most of the supporters were dancing and also expressing some sort of excitement um, awaiting for the results to be collated and finally announced and the time has finally arrived for that declaration to be made when the camera pans towards Eli Klima Krugu, you can see quite a number of people around her wearing white showing a sign of victory even ahead of the pronouncement. Right, so the declaration is about to happen and the team will be moving outside so that the crowd can be able to see them before the declaration will be made. And that is just what the EC official is saying in here. Um, they are still trying to come to terms and also understand if the declaration should be done within the coalition center premises or whether Eric Klimakrugu would want to go out and face her supporters before the declaration can be made. Uh, Mike Okwe Jr. has not been at the coalition center from yesterday after polls were closed till today. We don't have the NPP agents as well who were at various polling centers to ensure and monitor that um, things would be managed properly and it's it's time the time is finally here Alec Pim Akugu on your screens coming out to face the populace her supporters if I should say ahead of the declaration she's walking out majestically also her supporters have waited keenly for this time. You can clearly see the excitement they are expressing, seeing their candidates who hopefully will be pronounced as the winner in the Dom Kwabenya constituency. We will be hearing from the EC official who will assist us in the declaration as soon as possible. Um, the crowd is still cheering up, awaiting for the results to be announced at the coalition center. So let's say in the next 20 to 30 minutes, everyone will finally be leaving the premises after the pronouncement has been made so that we can finally know who will be representing the 170,619 registered voters. The number is quite over that in the Dom Kabenya constituency. That should be happening any moment um, from now. 
Ellie Klim Akuku describes herself as a woman of strength and for a woman who has been able to be here with her supporters, ensuring that the coalition goes on perfectly. So now you can clearly tell that she is a woman of strength and also an ambitious woman as well. You can see the excitement drawn all over her face. I'm hoping that the pronouncement will be made soon so that she can be declared as the member of parliament for the Dom Pabinya constituency. It's been a long day for her and also her supporters as well. And the time is finally here for the right thing to be done. Initially, after the chaos erupted here, it brought the process to a standstill and some sort of misunderstandings as well. But at the moment, you can clearly see that everything fell back in place. Even though we were able to engage a contender, Mike Okwe Jr., who called on the Electoral Commission to put the processes to hold for them to be able to bring in their pink sheets for every announcement to be made fairly between the two leading political parties it looks as though that call has fallen on deaf ears and it will definitely not be heeded to we have the ec official here who would soon be making a declaration so that we know what will be happening here just before the pronouncement will be made I would allow the camera to open to the people so that they can also have some time to enjoy the sights and scenes here of the supporters who are awaiting on the ground and also um, Eli Klim Akugu who is on the first floor of the building where the coalition exercise took place. Hey, hey, why are you pushing? Right, so there have been a moment of silence where they are playing the Ghana national anthem theme before the pronouncement can be made. You can see that the supporters have come to pay some respect to the national anthem. Even though it's been a long day for them, they've been able to calm themselves down for a few minutes because the important time and moment that they have been waiting for is finally here. After the national anthem has been played, um, the EC official has grabbed the mic and will soon be making the pronouncement so that we can finally get to know who will be leading in the Dom Kwabinya constituency. Um, the number of the people who are still down there, most of them clad in their NDC paraphernalia and also in their NDC outfits are hoping that this pronouncement wouldn't be one that would disappoint them. A reason why they have dedicated so much time to wait at the premises until the announcement is being made. We haven't spotted any NPP official around. It's only members of the NDC and I am able to pinpoint at them because I can see that 90% of the supporters who are here are all wearing um, NPP t-shirts and paraphernalia as well I don't either on their heads or around their wrists to finally um, wait for the time for the pronouncement to 
be made. Earlier, before it got to the stage, like I indicated, <laughs> there was chaos that erupted. And after we had few conversations with the EC officials, it got to a point where they had to deploy military, heavy military presence. I'm reported here. Um, the police officials who are here as well double the numbers to ensure uh, that the brought calm to the happenings there. That fortunately was able to happen. Right. Right, so um, the moment is here and the pronouncement is about to happen. So, pronouncement is about to happen and we will soon get to hear from um, the EC who is poised to deliver the results. At the moment, they are trying to talk to the supporters to let them know that uh, the time is here and it's about to happen. So yes, they are taking the lead to the front side to finally pronounce the outcome of the results. It's been close to 48 hours, like I have been saying, and the EC official is speaking. So let's get to hear what he will be saying. Good evening, And good evening, Ghana. Right. Today is Sunday. Today is Sunday, the 8th of December 2024. We have come to the end of the collation of the parliamentary election. The total valid vote cast for the parliamentary election is 102,634. Rejected ballot, 620. And the total vote cast, 103,254. And the individual votes, per candidate according to how they are arranged on the ballot paper we have Michael Aaron Ni Okwe po 50,477 votes Akurogo Fosina Eli Plim po of NDC po 51,000 Doranyapo, for 224 votes. And Remy Papa Edmos, Edmosen, for 299 votes. Now, by the power invested in me, as a retaining officer, for Dominic Avenue constituency, I declare <laughs> Madam Akurobo for Sina Elikle <laughs> as the parliamentary candidate elect for Dominic Avenue constituency. Thank you. So just as you heard from the returning officer, um, Faustina Aliklim Akrugu is the MP elect for the Drum Pabenya constituency. There's more to say, so let's hear from them. The coalition has not ended yet. Stay on it, but God will end it tomorrow and the result will be announced. Thank you.
Samisa Akwenyawe and the Munina Asse Odra may ye at Shremeno and Brew Majeso Munimi Eshas if it's a Nura Ebesian Namishramu Pa Namishramu Domiqua Benya and Ya fire into my pa Afra. Chobu, Chobu. Message of Akwenya we. Ada, a soldier for air security for any police for. Omo ba ye edi omo awon di abeta ye chi. Message of Ada media for the nina ase. It has been a long, 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 long day. Now, if I have another, I said, Ada, Mrs. Penny, Honorable Sophia, Akua, who I say, Onuna, Otte, me, 2012, Emra, or Bayano, Otte, me, San, and Ne, Babadu, in Pepesi, it is Asida Cassia, Echo, Emano. I told you, the best of it, Honorable Mohammed Nuruddin Asse, the parliamentary candidate 2016, on us in our whole day, the BBA at the Atamechi in this political journey. Now, the best of it, I'm going to go so, and that executive, constituency executive for the Nase, teach you your vice. Chairman, Aya Wisdom, Amegbeji. Your constituency organizer, Adam Agbenyefia. Your woman organizer, Semira Tusabi. Your deputy youth organizer, Joseph Kwame Adongo. Any your executives, Aya, uh, Mr. Amadeka, Champagne, Enna. Enna, Auntie Grace. Besides, we are all the work coordinators, branch executives. Ah, Emra Yeshe campaign yase, Mujina Munde Dende, Nyami Enshramo, Weche Se, Domi Kwabenya, Isisaya Yeshe Shano, Yansaka. The 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 mini backer who aye, the election director. Ah, Mud. Fa e jumadi e tu amoso, amoni ye e kwaba, titu Eric, Eric Anyomi, Frank, ena agaga, ye damu ni na ase, se ene, ye bedu a Chris, ye damu ni na ase, na midi ni se. A few way, and I'm next year. They put to do my education. I say, I said, 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 I Imams, market women, I hear for Medina for Mudima, I want to better your cheek. Any Munina, Namisha Munina, no Yamunina Cassia, Medamunina, Medamase, 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 Namisha, Namisha. Honorable, congratulations to you. The moment you have been yearning for is finally here. Um, you made a mention in your 12-page booklet that one of the things you would pay attention to would be education and also um, employment opportunities as well. How do you intend to make this happen for the constituents here? Domi Kwabenya, we've come a long way. Just as I said, for 20 wasted years, 
We haven't seen anything. I have told throughout the constituents. And then I have a policy. I have signed a document to the good people of Jamil Kwabinya. I have five policies that I'm bringing on board. The first one has to do with inclusive governance. The second one has to do with jobs. The third has to do with safety and security. The fourth has to do with infrastructure development. 